YouTube, it's the Survivalist247, and today we're back here in American Truck Sim. And today we're getting the Kenworth T800 back out. Beautiful truck. Um, we've got a uh, sleeper on here today, the big sleeper, I don't remember what it's called. Uh, I think it's not the Aero Cab, it's the, um, it's some. But we got a 550 Cat 3406E model in here with an 18 speed Eaton Fuller. We're hauling, let's see. We're hauling 15,000 pounds of construction houses, these little uh, boxes here. And um, we're here in, uh, we're, we're going to Bakersfield to the rail export. I believe this is San Fran. Uh, yeah, we're in San Fran right now. Um, but yeah, we're, we're taking this scenic back road that I know m all of us just love. Um, I think we're taking the uh, dreadful part of it as well. But anyway, guys, let's go ahead and start this baby up and get rolling. Turn on our running lights, put her in third gear, release the parking brake, and go. Turning right out of here. The reason I picked this truck when I saw this uh, little job is because of the way the T800 handles compared to my other trucks. This is one of my better handling uh, mods. This is probably one of the best handling trucks I've driven in this game. I love it. Um, it really... I feel like it turns faster than the other trucks do. It's just kind of dumb to say, considering that's based upon steering sensitivity. But I feel like this just turns a little faster. I don't know. But we're here in Cali again, so we're limited to the 55 speed limit, which is really annoying. And yep, we're coming up on that section of road that everybody in this game loves. This is a and this is a very important delivery, so we have to get there on time. It's not very long either. There's the turn off right there. Wait for these trucks to get on by, and I think we're clear. Here we go. Good thing we're not taking like a 53 for the through here. I don't think I'd make it with that. But we got a little bit of a stubby bob behind us today. This probably would have been best suited to a day cab truck with a look. But, you know, I don't really care. I like the way this the, this little setup looks. Oop, and I'm already rubbing against the wall. As I'm like, oh, this trailer is perfect for this. Well, the truck's not because apparently I'm not, uh, I'm rusty. Even though I trucked for like... Seven hours straight today. I put in um, 11 loads on multiplayer today. Um, uh, if you guys ever want to join me on multiplayer, just go ahead and tell me in the comments, and uh, I'll be glad to hop on with you guys. Um, like I said in the last video, I believe that was the last video. I don't know. I think I might have gotten the order of videos I'm uploading mixed up because I do record some of these a day in advance. Uh, in one of the videos that I have recorded. I say that if you want to friend me on Steam, that you just have to email me, or find me. It's pretty easy to find me. Uh, it's just the Survivalist 247 on Steam, and I'm killing this truck. I gotta take this a little bit more serious, because this is a, uh, an important delivery. don't want it to be damaged. Looks like we're only hitting the truck at this point, so that's good. like this engine sound. It is a little overbearing on my voice, though. Uh, I would like it if my game sound was turned down a little bit. I don't know how easy it is for you guys to hear me right now over the sound of this loud-ass cat, but um, if you can't hear me very well, I do apologize. I'll turn down the game volume next time I use this engine. But um, I figured you guys are tired of hearing me drive uh, trucks with, you know, Cummins engines, We've got the N14s, ISXs, 
I figured you were pretty tired of hearing my Detroit obsession as well. So, we're bringing out the cats. And there's really only two cats in this uh, entire mod community, and that's the C-15 and the 3406E. And those are really the two best mo uh, cat engines that I know of, anyway. Uh, I guess there's a C-13. It's like there is the ISX-12 instead of the ISX-15. What is it with engine makers in the number 15? What do they like? Like the Cat C-15 and the ISX-15? What is... Why do you guys like that? Well, I guess there's two versions of this uh, C-15. There's the pre-Acer uh, C-15 and after Acer C-15. And I know Creechy Bomb has done both. Oh, come on. Get out of the way! Oh my god, move. Sorry about that. But, uh, I do not remember... Um, what did Acer do? I don't exactly know what it is. Uh, if you guys in the comments could tell me what Acer did when they added it to Cat, I don't know what it... I don't know what it... I don't know what that does. I don't really know what it is. If you guys in the comments could tell me what that is, I'd really appreciate it. But I do know it changed the engines up. And I do believe it made them sound different. Because there's the, um... With, uh, Creature Bomb's engines, he's got, like, the King of the Hill edition with Acer. And then he, uh, originally had the King of the Hill edition without Acer. So, uh, if you guys could tell me, and Acer wasn't something that, like, just happened recently, I don't think, that was, like, a while ago. If you guys could tell me what that did, I'd really appreciate it. But, uh, I know it, it didn't happen to the older 3406 model engines, it was somewhere in the 2000s, it happened then, I believe. So, good news, guys, it looks like I'm getting over this, um, strep throat bug. Which means more videos for you guys. I do apologize about being sick so often, it's kind of annoying about not being able to make videos. I do apologize for that. So you just can't control some things though, so it is what it is. There's not much, too much left in this video, so I guess this short, this trip was pretty short after all. Probably could have done this as a silent trip, but I decided, you know what, hell with it. You guys are probably tired of me not commentating as much as I really should be. But, uh, yeah. Um, next video, K200 is coming back, and then we're gonna finally find the T908. Wow, good news. Um, have I done it? I don't, I have done a T908 video. What am I doing? slap myself for that. I will refine the T908, hopefully, and the Max Superliner, because there was an update for it, and I love that truck. I need to get over, and my mirrors aren't very helpful, because they're not set. This one's set horribly. I'm not entirely sure what in the world's going on with that. So, um, this... This engine is so loud it's causing static in my microphone. I can hear it. I can hear it in my in my little bit of playback that I have on. Damn. I'm gonna back off that engine sound for a little bit. I do really apologize for that, guys. I knew you guys probably couldn't hear a goddamn word I was saying. Um. Yeah. Okay. Note to self: When you're using 3406 in the T800, it is very loud. for the really loud and incessant drone coming from this cat. I 
have to turn my game volume down next video with this engine. Sorry about that, guys. I'm gonna try to keep it at half throttle here. Or no throttle, because we're gliding downhill. But yeah, it looks like we're almost here to rail export. I know where this is. We've pulled out of here a lot before. Looks like our customer expects delivery soon. Gun it. Yeah, this didn't go very well. Gunning it didn't do much. Gunning it didn't do much. Yeah, I figured that out pretty quickly. <laughs> anyway, guys, here we are. We made it to Rail Expo. Gotta do my wonky controller turn signal thing. I gotta reach inside my 360 controller. That's only for the left turn signal, by the way. Because my uh, my LB button is missing. Which is why there's so much screwy stuff with my controller. And my select button is uh, mashed in and it doesn't work unless I honk the horn. Which is clicking the left thumb stick. Park you here. Alright guys, this video looks like it's coming to an end. I'ma hit you, bitch. I'm kidding. Uh, anyway guys, oh come on. So guys, this weekend I hope to be doing a live stream with all of you. I did one the other day that failed horribly, I do apologize for that. But off the truck here. Anyway, guys, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. If you guys liked the video, please leave a like. If you didn't like it, oh well. Tell me in the comments why you didn't like it. I'll change things up. None of you guys disliked anything yet, so I'm going good. I'm going strong. But, anyway, guys, thanks again for watching. Like I said, looking forward to doing the live stream this weekend. Hopefully, you guys will come out and join me, if any of you really care. Hopefully, you do. If you don't, you'll hurt my feelings. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Oh, uh, but no, seriously, guys, come out and hang out with me. Uh, it should be this Saturday, somewhere around 7. So, we'll, I'll have to make sure on that, and I'll, uh, I'll make an update video and everything. I'll, um, I'll update you guys. But anyway, guys, thanks again for watching. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you guys in the next video.